good evening to all of you. Let me greet you all in the name of Jesus. I'm so glad you have tuned in for tonight's program. If you're first time watching this program, I want to introduce myself. My name is Sarah George. I come to you with the word of God every Monday, 7 to 7.30. And it is my privilege and honor to serve God and to be with you all and to teach the word of God. And my prayer is that tonight, hallelujah, to let us all get to know Jesus, whom we are, especially this season. Hallelujah. He is the reason for this season. Amen. So uh, it is good to have all the gifts under the tree and make all that goodies and all those sweet stuff. It's all good. But I wanted to ask you, hallelujah, whom we are celebrating about is Jesus. Do you have the relationship with him, the Jesus? Amen. If it's not, I urge you, my dear. You may be, you know, everyone, whether you are Hindu or a Muslim or everyone, every nation celebrate is another vacation or holidays. Hallelujah. It is not just another holiday. This is very special that God himself, hallelujah, came to this world, hallelujah, to redeem us. So that, amen, by his death, we have been redeemed, amen. And you know, I wanted to tell you that you don't have to continue living in sin. So because of his birth and his death, and because he resurrected, amen, hallelujah, this season, you can experience him in a special way. Don't allow one more year go by I know, without having that relationship with Jesus. So my, my, uh, I urge you, my dear, come on, hallelujah. It is very simple wherever you are, amen, while you are cooking or whatever you are doing, amen. Said Jesus, if you are real, you are the Savior. I want to live for you. And just acknowledge that. We all, come on, I want to tell you. We all are sinners. Come short of his glory. And you know, one the minute we acknowledge that, asking him to come into our heart, what happens? He will give us the privilege to become his child. Amen. Hallelujah. So I wanted to make sure, my dear, before this year, 2014, finish. Don't allow the new year uh, no, uh, come to our life without knowing the Savior whom we are celebrating. Amen? Hallelujah. I am so privileged, you know, it is uh, to uh, introduce my children. You know, this season, Christmas time is all about family, isn't it? Hallelujah. I know most of you are enjoying having your children and grandchildren, all our relatives are there with you. But in case if you are alone, I want to tell you, hallelujah, that Jesus is closer than ever before in your life. And if you have uh, going through time, this is the first Christmas that you may be going through without uh, your son or child or your spouse not there. You lost this year or recently. I wanted to tell you. Amen. Jesus is there. Emmanuel, uh, he is with us is near than ever before, closer than ever before, because he knows exactly that what you are going through and to make you feel that loved and where whatever, that no one can, you know, be in that place where right now what you are going through, but he can be there this season. Amen. So I just want to comfort you, my dear. Hallelujah. So don't allow this Christmas in feeling lonely and gloomy and feeling so down, hallelujah. That's what Satan does to us, you know. Instead of enjoying it, bringing all that, you know, all that uh, pain and all that difficulty that you are going through and uh, lose your joy, we can very much. So don't allow enemy that uh, bring that thoughts in you 
and you know I can't enjoy this Christmas because I lost so and so or I'm going through divorce or something you know bad happened in your life don't allow that's a lie of the enemy you know the card is still the same yesterday today and forever and with him the Jesus whom we are celebrating with him your life is going to be get better and better my dear you know it is not I saying we are going to read some beautiful verses that from the word you know and uh, tells you that this word is something I can tell you we can uh, you know hold on and you know count on it amen so before any going any further and I'm also so lucky to have my three sons whom God has given me it's one of the precious gift that God has given in our life three of my boys and they both are serving God they've been a, such a great uh, joy and uh, you know a gift from the Lord and I, I'm not just to say bragging it is a greatest gift for a parent or a mother uh, that God you know we receive is to see our children serving God and it is my honor tonight to uh, uh, have these boys with me let me introduce my oldest son Jonathan he is a second year in a medical school in uh, St. Louis and he's here with us for the uh, for the vacation and uh, Jeremiah is my second son he is uh, graduating from his pre-med from Dury uh, University and uh, here Joshua George he is uh, my youngest uh, my Benjamin you know and uh, he uh, is a third year uh, pre-med all have uh, been uh, serving God in our church, in wherever they are. They are so involved in the God's ministry by God's grace. Hallelujah. God is helping them and, you know, and uh, his grace is so good to all of us, isn't it? Okay. I just wanted to, Jonathan, uh, let us sing some song and worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Angels worship the Lord with the news. And I just wanted to... Uh, ask you all take over and let us sing some song come on all the songs that we are singing is very familiar to all of us come let us sing and worship the lord he is worthy to be praised amen amen uh, it's such a great opportunity and i thank mom for letting us come here and you know it's not about who we are or what we've done but it's about giving glory to god and we are here to just give glory to god and join with the angels. If we read in Luke chapter 1, verse 26, and uh, it says, And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God into a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou art highly favored. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. He shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord of God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom, there shall be no end. Father, we just thank you. We lift thank you up Father, tonight. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We praise Hallelujah. your name. You are Hallelujah. highly exalted. Oh, Father. yes. Hallelujah. You are, your kingdom shall reign till Amen. no end. Hallelujah. And Father, we join with all the angels and say glory to you, Father. Yes. Amen. Glory and honor to you. Praise the Lord. In Christ's praise name we Lord. pray. Amen. 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 Join with us if you know the words. <laughs> Join the 
in Luke chapter 2 verse 8 and there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby keeping watch over their flocks at night an angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were terrified but the angel said to them do not be afraid I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people today in the town of David a savior has been born to you he is the Messiah the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You'll find a baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those whom his favor rests. about the joy and the peace. Right now, yes, you must be hearing this song. But you are not able to enjoy that joy right now in your spirit. 
I want to pray for you. I don't know what you are going through, but you have been so down, and you are not able to enjoy right now. You are hearing it, but your heart is so down. I want to reach out to you because the purpose of his birth to bring forth what the angel said, peace on this earth. Amen. And you know, Jesus said to the disciple also, I give unto you the peace, not the world give it. Hallelujah. And we know in this world we have tribulation, but be of good cheer. Amen. Amen. I wanted to remind you, my dear. Hallelujah. You are not a victim. You are victorious through Amen. Jesus Christ. Whatever situation, don't allow to take your joy from your heart. You know what is it? Satan knows that. Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Amen. Hallelujah. So you can have all, you know, in the midst of all the situations. Amen. Hallelujah. No one can steal that joy. Who? Because, you know, the Jesus gives to us. Mm. Amen. No sickness can take it away, my dear. Unless you allow it. Amen. No problem can take it away, that joy. Unless we allow it. So can you say tonight, Amen. I'm not going to allow this joy that God has given me. That you know, you know what is the joy? He's there with me. Amen. 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 Emmanuel, God is with me. I can do all things. Through Jesus Christ. Amen. Even though I, I cannot do myself, but through Christ I can do. And you know, you need to say, if God is with me, who can be mm. against me? Amen. Amen. What more you want? Hallelujah. Are you feeling his presence right now? Mm. Amen. Amen. He wants you to. Come on. Hallelujah. Amen. This is the very purpose he came down and his spirit hallelujah amen. that is if God is with us Emmanuel the Jesus right now amen. Amen. amen he's right now in your room wherever you are sitting hallelujah you allow him to ask him come on God take over my mind help me let us pray together hallelujah heavenly father God master you put that in my heart right now those who are listening to this program Lord Father, so much of stress, so much of things are troubling their mind about tomorrows. Even this Christmas, they could not give a good gift to their dear one or a children or grandchild. They don't have uh, in there, they feel that they don't have enough to do what they want. They feel that helpless. Right now, Lord Father, the greatest gift that you have gave, that you, your son, for us, Lord. Right now, I ask you, Holy Spirit, let them feel, hallelujah, complete in you, Lord, Father. Whatever lacking, God is my shepherd. I shall not want. Right now, the peace of God fill their heart right now, Lord. Heal their hurt. Amen. Lord, Father, even though we don't know, hallelujah, for tomorrow, but we know who holds our future. So God Almighty, we thank you that you are with us. I committed these dear ones in your hands right now. Give them that confidence in the name of Jesus. I come against the spirit of fear in the name of Jesus. I come against every spirit of depression, insecurity, and loneliness in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Right now, the joy of the Lord. Right now. Hallelujah. In the name of rise within inside of them, Lord Father. Let the faith rise within inside of them, Lord. Give them the hope. Give them the peace they need, Lord Father. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. This is the very purpose that you came, Lord. And the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. You gave your spirit to us, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. You are with us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. 
and we give you all the glory what you are going to do hallelujah thank you father already right now thank you lord hallelujah the peace coming amen hallelujah the comfort hallelujah the joy knowing that it's going to be all right because you are still in control thank you father for doing that in jesus name we pray amen hallelujah can we sing that song i can face tomorrow because he lives because he lives i can face tomorrow because he lives oh He's a faithful God. Amen. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. You can count on him. So be faithful. Okay, let us sing that song and close this program. Oh, come, Yes, Lord. 
bless you. May the God Almighty, His glory shine upon you. Amen. And have a blessed time with the Lord Amen. and a happy new year. May the Lord bless you and your family. May the God Almighty bless our nation. Every reason should celebrate is He is the reason. Mm -hmm. Let us all together worship Him. Thank you. Good night. Amen.